I know you're probably thinking that everybody knows how to use the sum function, but I'm willing to bet that most people don't know all the shortcuts and tricks I'm about to show you. Of course, be sure to share any tips or tricks I missed in the comments below. We can automatically insert sum formulas for a contiguous range of cells that contain numbers using auto sum. It detects the range you want to sum by looking for rows or columns adjacent to the cell you've selected that contain numbers. If you're happy with the range detected, you simply press enter and it enters the formula for you. It also works for rows and the keyboard shortcut is alt and equals. It's easy to remember, huh? Again, we just press enter and it inserts the formula for me. Now we can copy these formulas, but an easier way is to select all of the table and then an extra column and row for your totals. And then either click auto sum or use the keyboard shortcut alt equals. Notice it enters the formulas automatically. I haven't had to press enter. You can also use auto sum on non-contiguous cells. So here I've got several lists and I want to sum each one of them. So I've selected the cells and then alt equals and it enters the formulas for me. Now, if you want to sum non-contiguous cells, enter the sum function and then select the cells Holding down control, Excel will automatically insert the commas into the formula for you. When you've got all the cells that you want, press enter and it completes it. By the way, this technique can be used with any function, not just sum. It's really handy with concatenate as well. To insert a running total, we'll insert sum, select the first cell in the range, enter colon. It automatically repeats that cell reference again. Close parentheses, selecting the first reference, I'm going to press the F4 key to absolute that cell reference. So it's going to sum the first cell and then all I need to do is copy that down and you can see it's automatically inserted the running total which matches my grand total here. And now because the second cell reference is not absolute, as we copy it down, the cell reference increases by one automatically without me having to do any more. Here I have a summary table and I want to calculate the total by department and region from the individual month sheets. And you can see I've got 12 month sheets here. To do this, I can enter my sum, select the first sheet and that cell, holding down shift, click on the last sheet and notice in the formula bar it now says Jan colon December and it has the cell reference C4. I can close parentheses and press enter and now it sums all of the sheets from Jan to December. And you just need to keep in mind that if you drag another sheet inside this range, it will also be included in the sum. Now a quicker way to enter these formulas is to first select all the cells that I want my sum formulas in, then enter the formula. So again, selecting Jan, cell C4, holding down shift and clicking on December, close parentheses, and then press control and enter. It automatically enters the formulas for me in each cell. And because the cell reference in the formula is relative, you can see it automatically increments by one row and column at a time. Now this control and enter technique isn't exclusive to the sum function. You can use it with other functions and simply entering data. I hope you found these tips useful. Please share any sum function tips you have in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. And why not share it with your friends who might also find it useful. Thanks for watching.